Morgan, Bray and Birch, and guess what we're doing today? We're going down to Gorman's Chinese Theater once again for Dances with Films 20th anniversary. I am super excited because we're going to get down to the beat and a celebration of music and dance and watch some fantastic short films and music videos and then talk to the creators of these fantastic videos as well as some of the actors in them. So let's get started. Some of the films included our Alienologist, Dance in the Camera, God's Beaten Guns, Jenry Clegg, Take My Heart Away, also One More Dance, um, Pekrosha, Princess Bride, A Watchman's Tale, lovely, Reparations, the musical, uh, Stung, The Johnson's Feet, was, uh, also Bryce Spine, Juice, then we have The Other Side, and You'll Never Know. I am super excited because these are fantastic, and they sound simply amazing. Not only that, but one of my friends is in one of these films, which is called One Last Dance, and her name is Savannah Lilies. So come on, let's go. What are we waiting for? I'm super excited. Um, I think one of the most magical moments of reparations uh, Honestly, for me, it was the conversations we had on set because it was a heavy subject and it was through like three different time periods, so three different, you know, frame of minds and opinions. So the conversations we all had amongst each other was, was magical. We learned a lot about each other, I learned a lot about myself, and that was really, really magical and powerful and I think helped come through on screen. Yeah. All right. Um... <laughs> I mean, finding this abandoned building was great in Argentina. I was on vacation and I wanted to shoot something and I all of a sudden found this beautiful place with there's many shipyards there and they we talked to the director and said, We want to shoot something here and say, Okay, you're welcome. So we did so that was very magical for me to find that place. Yeah. Same thing. To be with me dancing, right? That was magical. <laughs> steampunk cast arrived on set and put on all their amazing costumes that was just you know to see it all realized and and half of them are actual steampunk cosplayers so they the, the magic that they brought with their um, costumes but also with just their energy was perfect for the for the music video so that was the best part um, I would say that the most magical moment in our shoot had to be we spent an entire day uh, shooting in the yard, the couple shots of this kid dancing uh, with the little girl and an older couple as well. And uh, while they were dancing, Jen Page, uh, the other producer for this, uh, for set, she's not here to join us, but she would describe to them a range of emotions um, to go through while they were dancing. The most magical moment for me on Alientologist was, uh, so the jukebox, we were supposed to mute, you, like you had to hit this button before every take or else it would play actual music. Um, and when uh, we were, I was so nervous to get just the first shot up of them dancing because I dreamt of it for so long and then to finally see them do the dance number was a big deal for me, especially because I think I had a lot of different voices in my ear saying like that this was going to be impossible to pull off. And then when we did the first take, um, we forgot to mute the jukebox and Take My Breath Away started playing <laughs> and I just let it roll and that's what we ended up using and so we just cut that out. So. Um, they're actually reacting to hearing Take My Breath Away as aliens, which I thought was just hilarious and amazing. And also just watching them develop this language together was pretty cool to watch. In uh, Princess Bride, The Watchman's Tale, we had to uh, hike with the whole crew and a bunch of young princesses and older princesses to the top of uh, Mount Arbel, which was about an hour and a half hike. And uh, we had a vehicle, but uh, the guy wanted to show off and it, blew up so we had to all just walk up to the top before our shoot and um, at one time in history there were a community that was kind of trapped in that in those cliffs and that's kind of the eerie feel they have but what we didn't realize was that the water was in the vehicle so we were up there locked up there for hours with no water and um, we had just a little bit left and it was actually prop water to be used for the foot washing scene and so we had to make a decision, do we shoot the scene with the foot washing, use the water for that, or do we drink it and survive? And so, <laughs> it was, as, a, as a director, it was really awesome to see that people said, no, just pour it in there and, you know, we'll make it through. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. So do you have any questions from the crowd? Throwing it up to you guys. Anybody? I can't see. Uh, right About right here in front. 
Hi, my name is Morgan Brian Birch. I'm a reporter for Kids First, and I know you each had a magical moment, and I know that the experience had to be fantastic. So what was it like being able to go through all the different numbers and everything, and how long did it actually take to shoot? Because, as you can tell, you all did a fantastic job. You all had to sing, or you all had a unique talent that you had to actually show. So what was it like being able to do that, and what did you enjoy the most when you were able to show that off and be able to realize that you had that. Okay, so Sarah, uh, one question. How long did it take, and what, what did it feel like? How did it feel going through that process? And how long? How long? That's just how long, and what did it feel like? The filming or the whole production? The, the whole thing. The whole production, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, it was kind of a long process, and uh, the shoot was three days, and I wrote the song a few years back. And then um, somebody actually wanted to see a video made for the song. And so that's kind of how it came together. Did a Kickstarter, got fully funded. And for Alientologist, it took two years. I, I filmed it in March 2015 uh, over the course of a week. That was just a long, grueling process. And also a lot of like makeup touch-ups and stuff. Um, it took about two years. Well, this is probably a little crazy. We actually, um, when Raymond brought the song to Jen Page, who's not here. She came up with a concept. It took her probably about a week and a half to two weeks to really feel it. Um, she's a very creative, fast creative person. And believe it or not, we put that entire video together in about, from start to finish, we filmed straight through for 12 hours and finished the entire video in one day. So a lot of work, great team, a lot of people working very fast, um, but huge message, so uh, I'm really thankful for this guy for writing such an incredible song. It was a couple months of pre-production coming up with the idea for it. Um, the actual shoot was about two days. Um, I actually got a gig in the middle of it, so I was in Portland producing to come back to Los Angeles, so I flew in on Saturday morning, shot, shot Sunday, flew out Monday morning and walked straight on to set from the airport. Uh, hours to uh, two days shooting um, because on one side uh, we shot the first day one side of the place and then next day the other side because there was a lot of park parking there so they have to remove all the cars you know take them out so um, and we started um, pre-production on Christmas Day right it took me 20 years to learn how to dance like this <laughs> This is actually a piece that we do in theater, and we do this dance scene um, for you know fans and people that love to to see us dance, and they don't have the chance to come to the theater, whatever they are in the world. So we do this little dance scene for them to see what we are doing. And that's one thing that I really enjoy when I when we do these things is um, you have to count for the cameraman to start rolling, right? So you go. Okay, so I'm gonna count five, six, and the six, you start moving, you start running. Okay, so we go five, six, seven, now, two, and okay. cut, okay, let me see it. Okay, again, now start moving on the five. I'm gonna count five, one, two, three, and the five start running, but run fast, okay? That's the whole process of my dancing. It's like, I never stop, my head never stops. It's like, if I'm not dancing, I'm directing. Or arguing with the cameraman. <laughs> Mine either. For Juice, I think we spent, I don't know, six or seven weeks thinking about ideas and just brainstorming. And it was kind of this whirlwind of, you know, waking up in the middle of the night and let's put Bryce's head on a plate or uh, let's, uh, let's smash some candy skulls. And then I think we shot it over two days, three days. We shot it for three days and we, it was kind of all hands on deck. Everybody came out of the woodwork. Uh, Connor's wife, Tess, who is here, did all of the art direction and it looks amazing because she was able to basically make an entire video out of nothing. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of a glimpse into how that video was made. Godspeed and Guns was a, a six-month process, a true labor of love. Um, we have a recording studio out in New York and uh, Jerry's a fantastic music producer and writer and performer. And uh, he brought in Christina actually about four years ago, and they've uh, collaborated on two albums at our studio. And every once in a while when you're working there, you kind of hear something going on, and you're like, oh, that's different, that's interesting. And that was Christina, that was her making and writing uh, this song and, and this album. 
Uh, and she came up with the idea. She's like, you know, I really want to do a music video for this. And I said, well, let's do it. What do you What do you want to do? And she came up with the whole, you know, kind of uh, the the whole aesthetic, the whole feel of it. And I said, well, that sounds like something we can have a lot of fun with. It's a throwback to Thelma and Louise, throwback to Kill Bill. Um, so she came up with the idea. We developed it together, and. Um, I'd say we probably shot it about two months after the original idea was created. It was four days of uh, production uh, with a lot of locations, a lot of moving parts, a lot of wardrobe changes, um, and just a great crew. And um, while we were editing, um, my, uh, my editor who was on the project since, uh, since the conception of the project, um, his father unfortunately passed uh, in the first uh, couple days of, of us editing. So that uh, delayed the post-production process, but um, you know uh, he came back at the very final stage of the edit and was able to help us bring this home, this this true labor of love, and it all came full circle, and that just really speaks to the uh, independent spirit, and that's what this festival is all about. And we're very happy to be here, and we thank you all for uh, supporting independent filmmaking and our and our project. <laughs> top-notch. I absolutely love them all. They were so good that they could have been short films. My favorite had to be Reparation the Musical, for it was really different and unique, and the way that they could take on such a different topic and unique as well, and such a really hard, heavy topic with adding music as well as, well, adding such a different perspective was really fun, and I really loved and adored this about this particular music video. I also loved Alientologists and the way that they had the tap-dancing aliens, the fun perspective, the jukebox, and just the amazing graphics in the selves. Also, One More Dance, which was absolutely adorable with Savannah Lilies in it, took us through a love story through time. Also, A Princess Bride, A Watchman's Tale was terrific, for I love the way that it took us on a different perspective through love, also including romance, drama, mystery, and so much more. Then we also had the, um, the other side, which was a steampunk aspect on Alice in Wonderland, which I absolutely adore. I hope you guys will be able to see you guys next time at Dance with Films, hopefully 21, so mark your calendars. Bye-bye. This is Morgan Brian Birch, signing out. Au revoir.